Attention to people who buy brand new RVs. This is what you're purchasing. Twig-like structures, horribly fastened, terrible wiring. Just build it yourself, guys. Hey, so got my little buddy cranked up right now. We're gonna get some demo work in. All right, let's do it. I think we're gonna work on ripping out this portion right here. Yes. Fun fact, this bathroom has hundreds of fasteners. Pretty pumped. So here we have perfect example of just what quality you get when you purchase a brand new RV. Um, here's our bathroom fixture right here, it's held in together with four screws. Then you take it off, you have this hole. Now, I'm not necessarily upset about this part. I'm more upset about having absolutely no weather fixture whatsoever. In the event water were to get in there, could possibly cause a short, could possibly electrocute yourself. Yeah, it's, um, it's 12 volts, so it's not going to kill you, but it's going to freaking hurt. So, yeah, just be careful when it comes to purchasing an RV and just driving it as is, because you might have some wonky things like this, uh, terrible installation, or like I found here, just poor quality. This is the bathroom wall right here. Basically put together like toothpicks. It's 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 uh not very not very sturdy, um, and even the fastening right here. Check this out. They missed. Clearly, you missed, and they just kept firing. I don't, I don't understand where the quality control was then. Um, again, yeah, this is an old RV, but I guarantee that there's still other vehicles out there that are built the same way. So, be careful. Build it. Don't buy it. Yeah. Not sure if we're gonna reuse this toilet or not, or if we do compost or a cassette or something else. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time taking this apart because I don't want to have to buy a new one um, in the event we're gonna reuse this. So yeah, here we go. We have yet to use this bathroom, so there shouldn't be anything in it um, from us at least. <laughs> oh, that was pretty easy. Nice. Toilet's up, there's a flange right there, and it's actually been cleaned out, so awesome. No smells. I can see all the way down to the bottom. All good things. This is your typical toilet flange you'd see at a home. Um, this is just plastic, cause you know, RV life. But got all the screws out right now, and this will just spin in a counterclockwise fashion. I'm just gonna use a wrench right along one of the ridges and just tap lightly. Better look. Oh my god. So, with this out, already makes the RV feel twice as big, which is why a lot of people probably opt to not have a shower space. The demo is super, super easy because it's demo. There's really no functional expertise needed. Just smash things, cut things, remove things. Didn't really need that many tools. This guy right here, impact tool, basic hammer, and a five-in-one paint painter's tool. This tool is super, super versatile. I definitely recommend picking one up. You can do absolutely anything you need in an RV demo by <laughs> this one little guy scraping cutting, prying, chiseling. It does whatever you need. And uh, you, only, you only have to carry out one tool, so. This square drive right here is basically the only fastener used to put this entire RV together. So, not sure if it was a period part or if it was 
what coach specifically wanted to use for their builds, but every fastener, literally everything was held together with a Robinson. Robinson or square drive, whatever you want to call it. Seriously, this was awesome. This entire space feels totally different without this bathroom here, and I really don't even want to build a bathroom, but my wife insists that we do need it, so we're gonna go with the bathroom. This whole shower probably has right around 500 fasteners. Not even kidding, I'm gonna count them later and I'll post them, but it was ridiculous on the amount of fasteners that held this shower together. Um, you know, you kind of figured it'd be the opposite way around. You want less penetration. Less penetration. In an area that has water, they literally had this square drive bit every about inch or so holding panels together, holding pieces of trim together. Um, they did have a lot of this cool metal trim right here, which probably saved the shower from failing a lot sooner than it probably should have. But um, when I do the build, it's gonna be totally different. Seriously, thank you so much for watching. This is day one of demo day. There's probably gonna be a handful of more days on its way. Master bedrooms taken care of, shower spaces taken care of. So that being said, hit that notification bell if you will. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see ya, thanks.